I'm Nolene and today I'll be talking to you about how to set up a Google site. Okay, so to begin using Google Sites, I'm going to log into my department portal and access the G Suite by clicking on My Essentials. Once I click on that, I will actually get the dashboard for Google G, the G Suite for education and I'm going to go down to Google Sites. So I may need to scroll a bit down and here it is, Google Sites. There is a new Google Sites. In the past there was an older version but it has been updated which is fantastic. Now Google Sites is really, really easy to use. Um, as you can see I've used it quite a bit in the past. You can use an existing template or you can start from scratch. So Google Sites is basically a website maker and you can actually just drop and um, in, embed um, things that are already um, within your Google Drive. So it's actually a really intuitive uh, website. So here I'm just going to call this Google Sites just for today. So that's the name of my site and it's going to automatically update it there. And I'm just going to call this Google Sites. And that's my heading basically. So if I want to change this background here, I just click on change image and I can either upload something from my laptop or I can select an image. Just for today, I'm just going to select something. I'm just going to grab something from the gallery here. I might just grab one of these. I can do a Google search and find an image and whatnot. Everything that Google does, does adjust for readability so that you can actually make it easier for students um, and other teachers to read your website. Um, I can change the header type so I can make it just a title only. I can make it oops, um, a banner only, a large banner or my homepage. I can make it as a cover if I like. I'm just going to go back here and I will just need to change my image again. Okay. Where it says here your inserts, this is where you insert your things, it's very, very easy. So I can insert a text box. And I can add a whole heap of text. Now if I want this to be a particular heading, I can change that to a title, a heading or a subheading and it will actually pre-format everything. So you don't have to be too good with all of those sorts, um, with your formatting. If you don't like the fonts or the sizes of your text, you can click on themes over here and you can select from these themes. Um, I like to just keep it a bit simple, so I'll just go for this one. And I can change the types that are of a font, so I'm just going to keep it modern. And I can change the colors as well if I don't like that particular color. I can tailor things as well if I wanted to have a particular look. So, for example, if you're trying to match school colors or whatnot. If I go back to insert here, I can insert images. Again, I can upload from my computer or select from something on online. I'm going to actually just do um, something through Google search. I'm just going to type, for example, I'm going to type, look for a cat. So I want that image and I simply select it. Now the great thing is with Google Sites, it's quite flexible. As you can see, if I move this around, there's quite a few grid lines. So I can actually move my image all over the place. So if I want my image here and then I want some text next to it or I want this text next to that, I can just grab that box and drag it next to it. And as you can see, the the, the, the box and will actually meet up with the images. If I would like this image to be bigger, it would automatically adjust the size of the, the text box, which is wonderful. To add a new section, as you can see, there's a little section here. I'll just click on text box again and I can keep typing. If I want to add more text, I could just keep typing here as well. If I wanted to link this to a particular website, I could just click on the insert link as you would for like any Microsoft document or Google document and I can add the link there and that will automatically make it as a hyperlink. If I wanted to embed something, so for example through YouTube, I can actually go to YouTube and I can just, there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can just do it from the link or you can do it through using the embed. Using the link is very simple. I can just copy and paste that link. I can go back and I can just paste it and it will actually bring up the embed code and what the view is. So I can insert that there. So that way students or teachers can view um, a video. If I wanted to insert any document from my Google Drive or um, a form that I've created or something else, I can also just click on my Google Drive and insert anything that is in my Google Drive. So if I wanted to include a Jamboard that I've completed with other teachers here at Finnegan, I can click on that 
and insert it. And of course the jam board is not going to work. Okay, let's find something else. So if I wanted to insert um, an exit server that I've created in another tutorial, I can just simply double click on that and there it is. Now what I'd like for this to happen is I'd like the whole form to show so I can actually make that bigger so my viewers don't have to actually scroll within my page to be able to see the entire survey. And I might just bring that in a bit too just so it looks a bit nicer. So lots of different things that you can add into your Google site. If you want to add pages, you simply click on this add page and I'm just going to call this page one. And as you can see, as you add your pages, they automatically get added to your top as well. So I can say page two. If you want sub pages, you can certainly do that as well. So if I click on page one, I'd like to add a sub page there. I click on these three little dots here and I click on add a sub page. And I could just say sub page one and I might include another sub page two. And there they are. So if I come up here, my sub pages are already listed there. If I've realized that actually I need this sub page to become under sub under page two rather than page one, I just click on it and I just drag it. And then actually I just drag it to page two and then there is my sub page and I can do the same thing with the other page as well. So I've actually moved them in the navigation. To publish the website, it's very easy. You just click on the publish. I always like to put 2020 in front of this. Just so, because I create so many websites, just so I know which version it is. Okay, so I can't use that particular term, that's fine. Is the way Google. I might just go like this. Kick us up here. Wonderful. So what I can do is who can view my site. So if I want anybody in the department, I can look at that. If I want it to be public to everybody, I can change that also. Um, so we can just leave that. That is it. And then we publish it. So what you would do then, once you publish it, you'll get um, a notification that it's been published successfully. And then this here is, when you go back to the home, this here is the link that you would share with other people. So if I scroll down, there is my page. If I want to go to other pages, I simply click the navigation bar to access those as well. If I'd like to collaborate on this um, Google site, so I've got now I've got two tabs. I've got my edit tab and I've got my view tab. In my edit tab, um, I can add other people here to help me collaborate. And I would just invite them as I would if I'm going to be using um, a Google document, um, whether it be a Google Doc or a Google Slide or whatnot. And that's all you need to know for Google site. Very easy, very effective, excellent way to showcase and have information for your students and other teachers to access.